You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. Bears fans, if Ryan Poles actually has this opportunity, this would be a no-brainer. Bears fans, with four games left to play in the NFL season, the Bears have a 95% chance to land the number one overall pick thanks to the Carolina Panthers. And I think we can all agree that the Carolina Panthers are not going to win another game. So the number one pick is basically locked in for the second year in a row for the Chicago Bears. But Bears fans, for the second year in a row, now that the Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears have the number one overall pick, questions are going to start circling around, wondering what they should actually do with the pick. Should they keep Justin Fields and trade down to continue to build around him and stockpile picks once again? just like they did last year and with the trade with the Carolina Panthers that landed DJ Moore and multiple first round picks, or should they just take the best player available, which at this point would either be Marvin Harrison Jr. or Caleb Williams. All in all, Bears fans, we all know there's going to be a lot of debating amongst the fan base going back and forth, giving our opinions of what we think the Chicago Bears or Ryan Poles should actually do with the number one overall pick. So Bears fans, rather Ryan Poles trades the pick or keeps the pick, the Chicago Bears will definitely have their options. But Bears fans, today on the podcast, I wanted to share with you guys something that longtime insider Peter King had to say on the whole situation surrounding the Chicago Bears. On his podcast, he was discussing if the Chicago Bears do in fact land the number one overall pick, this is exactly what he would do with it. Check this out, Bears fans. So if... You are Chicago or whatever other team, you know, at the top of the draft. And you say, man, Caleb Williams is the bright, shiny object. Can we put him in a favorable situation? And did Chicago put Justin Fields in a favorable situation over the last however many years since he's been there, right? Those are the kinds of questions that you need to be able to ask and answer. Because if you can, if you have the quarterback, that's great. But the rest of the team is crap around him. (laughs) Then you're still going to have a crap team. I am really kind of, I, I, I was telling this to uh, a team executive yesterday when I w- I've made a few calls about this, my theory, asking yeah. what people think. You know what's funny? Most people think, kind of like you do, that it's a little crazy Most people think that if you've got the chance to go get a good quarterback high in the draft, you've got to do everything in your power to do that. I guess, I mean, I really disagree with that. But, like, if I were the Bears right now, unless Justin Field totally craps the bed over the last four weeks, I would use that first pick in the draft and trade it for three ones. I just would. All right, Bears fans, let's take a step back and actually talk about and think about what Peter King just said on his podcast. He said that the Bears could have the opportunity if they traded down once again from the number one overall pick, the opportunity to possibly gain three first round picks. And to me, it may be a realistic option knowing that there's a lot of quarterback needy teams, knowing that Caleb Williams, Drake May, Michael Penix, Jaden Daniels, there's going to be a whole lot of quarterback treasure that those quarterback needy teams are going to, are going to want to trade up to get one of those guys. So Peter King saying on his podcast that the Bears may have the opportunity to trade that number one overall pick and turn it into three more first round picks is definitely not far-fetched. And Bears fans, we all know how Ryan Poles feels about draft picks. He loves building through the NFL draft. He loves stockpiling draft picks. And once again, I think it would just be a really hard opportunity for Ryan Poles if the opportunity presents itself. If he's able to get three more first-round picks and keep a guy like Justin Fields, to me, that's a no-brainer. So Bears fans, I guess the main question for this episode of Keek on the Mic for you guys to answer down below in the comment section is a couple of different scenarios. Would you rather have Justin Fields at, as your quarterback and three first round picks in a trade down, or would you rather just stay put and draft the best player available? You guys already know what I'm going to say on this situation. I would rather keep Justin Fields, trade down, and potentially get three first round picks. So here's a couple of different scenarios that I want to throw at you guys. For example, let's say we trade down from the number one overall pick and we trade with the Las Vegas Raiders. We all understand that the Raiders are going to be a very quarterback quarterback needy team. Let's say the Raiders say, hey, we'll give you 
two first round picks and Max Crosby to move up to the number one overall pick? Are you keeping Justin Fields and trading down for those two first round picks and Max Crosby? Or are you going to trade Justin Fields and stay put at number one and draft a guy like Caleb Williams or Drake May? That's just one of the many scenarios that Peter King is kind of suggesting on what he would do or what he would imagine that the number one pick would be worth. And once again, the number one overall pick this year is going to be way more valuable than the number one pick last year. There's a lot of people thinking that Caleb Williams is that generational talent. And, and overall, they think the quarterback class this year is a lot better than the quarterback class last year. But Bears fans, the idea to possibly trade down and continue to stockpile first round picks for what the next couple of years would be absolutely golden. Because once again, when you really think about it, if you trade down, you do get three extra first round picks. You're talking about two first round picks, possibly for the next three NFL drafts. And to me, that's how you build a true contender. That's how you build a championship winning team by getting those valuable first round picks. And once again, we all understand that Ryan Poles also likes to trade down from those first round picks and continue to stockpile second round picks, third round picks, maybe some dynamic players, much like he did when he got DJ Moore. And let's say we do get opportunity to maybe trade with the Raiders, to get Max Crosby. That is the type of stuff that Ryan Poles likes to do. Ryan Poles likes to build through the NFL draft. So once again, if the opportunity presents itself, I'm pretty sure that he would definitely jump on that opportunity. Overall, Bears fans, this all depends on what Ryan Poles wants to do at the quarterback position for the Chicago Bears. If he is, in fact, out on Justin Fields, there is no way he's going to trade the number one overall pick because if he's out on Justin Fields, he's most likely going to trade Justin Fields and draft Caleb Williams or Drake May. But if Ryan Poles is all in on quarterback Justin Fields, a trade down to collect and stockpile multiple first round picks and maybe a impact player while continuing to build the roster around quarterback Justin Fields would be an absolute no brainer for this football team. Once again, this is how you build true contenders. This is how you build a true championship team is by trading down from that number one overall pick and continuing to address areas of need on this football team to continue to make this football team a whole lot better. So Bears fans, this is definitely something that we're going to keep an eye on um, as the offseason hits, as the NFL draft nears closer. Um, but once again, what a great opportunity for Ryan Poles once again to have the number one overall pick. Let's give a huge shout out to the Carolina Panthers because without them and the way that they played this year, none of this would be possible. And once again, what a fleece by GM Ryan polls. So he's got the opportunity to make the Chicago Bears a whole lot better this offseason. But once again, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. If you were in Ryan Poles position and you had the number one overall pick at your disposal, would you stay put, get rid of Justin Fields and take the best player available in either Caleb Williams or Drake May or even Marvin Harrison Jr.? Or would you keep Justin Fields and trade down and possibly get three first round picks in the process? Let me know down below in the comment section. But before I let you guys go, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears for that you know. Better than that, be back for our all new Bears podcast right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks guys, and as always, bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic. A podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and Bear Down.